This is one of the Amtrak survivors. Zui Nguyen has a severe head laceration, fractured vertebrae, cuts and bruises. But the professor at Philadelphia's Temple University is grateful to be alive and has an amazing story to tell. He takes the train a lot because he lives just outside of New York City in northern New Jersey. I like taking the train. It's comfortable, productive, you can get work done. He likes to talk on the phone to his wife Amy while he's on the train, to say hi, to check how their two young children are doing. It just so happened he was on the phone with her while the train came off the tracks. The thought I crossed my mind to say, I think we're going to crash, but I wasn't able to say it. I probably, probably exclaimed something. What it was that I said or what came out of my mouth at that moment, I don't remember. It might have been, oh my God, it might have been something like, oh no. The sensation was that I was airborne somehow and landed on the other side of the aisle. Amy did not hear her husband say anything. She was living a real life nightmare, eavesdropping on a horrifying situation, helpless to do anything. Suddenly I heard a, a loud noise of some sort. I couldn't really identify what it was. And then he wasn't on the phone anymore. The, 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 we still had a connection. Um, so the line was live, but nobody was responding. And I definitely heard a lot of sort of chaos and commotion, a lot of movement, people yelling. I think a few times I heard people say things like, are you all right? Are you OK? Um, and I was yelling into the phone. Hello, hello, is anybody there? And there was just no response. Zui's phone had gone flying when the train derailed. Amy was stunned and panicked. So you did not know if your husband was alive? I had no idea. She called Amtrak police. They were aware of the crash, but she says they had little information. She waited for any word about her husband, and then he called on a borrowed cell phone from outside the train. I said, are you hurt? And he said, a little bit, I'm bleeding. And I said, where are you bleeding? And he said, my head is bleeding. And then Zui had to give the phone to someone else. Still frightened, Amy started driving to Philadelphia, finding out he was at Temple University Hospital. It wasn't until the early morning hours when she finally saw him in person that she knew he would be OK. We were, Do you have time to give him a hug? I, we, briefly. Um, I wasn't moving very Yeah, much, I was so. going to say, I don't know that it was a hug. It might yeah. have been more like a little peck on, yeah. on the cheek because it was in a lot of pain. I didn't want to make it worse. Zui and Amy have now returned home, where he will have follow-up treatment with his personal doctor. You take Amtrak a lot. Yeah. Will you continue taking Amtrak? I don't know. You know I, 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 I'm inclined to say at some point uh, I probably will. But you're not ready for it right now. I'm not ready for it right now.